Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. Matter of fact, I'm showing I will do a tropical update this afternoon because things are growing pretty quickly. And now I'm showing that the euro is being wishy-washy again. So we got to keep a lock on this golf flooding that's happening. Never been here before. Hello, my name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not sundown from Friday until Saturday. That's Sabbath. But we'll make sure you're covered. Matter of fact, I'm showing that the tropics are starting to heat up a little bit, but because we have the sinking air over the MDR in the Eastern Caribbean, everything is going to form very close to the states. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am all year long. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. All I ask is if you know somebody that's in these impacts, please share this information on social media. Help alert people to what's going on with this tropics. If you don't use social media, just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much for helping out. Now, not only Larry Levin is bringing riptide threats to the East Coast, and that is going to be along the whole East Coast because it takes a while for these swells to reach us, but everything is starting to ramp up in the Gulf and coming off the coast of Africa. But I have been showing that this wave coming off the coast of Africa has a good chance to take a northern turn. I wanted to give you all an early update on what's going on because literally we are 12 hours later from what the Euro saw last night. And that was a pretty scary rainfall amount. Now the euro is shifting over to what the GFS said yesterday. So I know y'all think the euro is a, is a better model. In a lot of ways it is. Lots of times it lets me down though. It's a pretty wishy-washy model when it is wishy-washy. But let me get into everything I got for you guys. Hope you have a very happy and a very blessed Friday today. Remember all the links are in the description to help save you time. Now, you know how I do I always wait for the 8 o'clock update, and it has updated to Disturbance 1 is now 40% in the next 48 hours and 70% in the next 5 days. Matter of fact, I'm showing that this disturbance will have some effects with the one that's going to the east pack to the west coast of Mexico. Whether it be steering factors from the other low pressure system or whether it be a little bit of weakening coming from the outburst from this system given shear onto the gulf. And the one coming off the coast of Africa is 50% in the next 48 hours and 70% in the next five days. Now, NOAA has kept this still the same. We're going to see for the next few days a chance for a tropical depression or a greater strength coming off the coast of Africa. But now we're showing from the 15th is when a, a tropical depression or greater strength in the northwest of the Gulf of Mexico is expected to form according to NOAA as well as the one coming off the west coast of Mexico. These two are going to interact a little bit. And to update you first as far as this rainfall, because it really has changed in just 12 hours, guys. This is the Euro. I'll show you the Euro first, and I'm going to show you more of the GFS. Euro is a little wishy-washy. Within the next three days, you could get a quarter inch for Houston, but within the next five days, now it's going towards where GFS was going for yesterday, and it's not showing anything really for Corpus Christi or Southern uh, Texas. It's showing actually the system will take, take an eastward push into the Gulf of Mexico because it's going to be meeting up with this other system that's going on the west coast of Mexico at the same time. Just sticking with just a five-day period, which we know will change again. Euro changed within 12 hours. Still showing Houston over four inches within five days. Beaumont over seven inches. Beaumont, you always been looking like the uh, hot spot and the target according to both models. And if you go from five days to 10 days, you'll see this turn that's taking effect in the Gulf and over the states. It's showing heavier amounts for Louisiana now and getting into Mississippi and Alabama. And we always show that it would be a curve because of that cold front coming. Matter of fact, that next cold front coming around the 20th is what's going to help us from that next wave coming to the southeast. I'm still showing that as a factor. Matter of fact, I'm showing it could protect our Gulf because it could get in there as well. Now, please, guys, take this with a grain of salt now, because this is with the euro, and the euro has been wishy-washy. When I show you the GFS, you'll see the GFS has been more steady. Matter of fact, GFS is showing this is going to be way lighter and not a problem to worry about. But within five days, all this heavy rainfall that you see within 10 days, it's going to be mostly within the five days for Texas. From five to 10 days is when it's going to affect Louisiana and go towards Mississippi even more. I will update this this afternoon. I do not see this as set in stone. Let me get rid of it. <laughs> now the GFS, it shows that within five days, it'll be a little bit of rainfall. It won't be a whole bunch. It's even going down. It's showing pretty much by Lake Charles over here by Iowa is where the heaviest is going to be with Cameron getting over 11 inches. It's always showing a pretty good hot spot right here within five days, according to the GFS. But if you go within five to 10 days, you'll see what I mean. 
All the heaviness is shifted over to southeast Louisiana and Mississippi. Nothing for Texas. So you got the Euro that's showing 10 days, all this, and yet last night it showed craziness. You got the GFS shifting it more to the southeast. And Euro is starting to fall that way as well. It was here, then it was here, now it's over here. It's going to be shifting again. But according to the GFS, everything is going to be in the Gulf of Mexico. This cold front is coming at perfect timing, keeping everything off land. However, the edge of the Gulf of Mexico is going to see three to four inches in a lot of these states. With New Orleans getting over six on this update, even Bloxy, Mississippi, and Mobile getting four or five inches. This will be updated this afternoon. I do not see this as set in stone. Hopefully, it takes a sharper turn and nobody gets any rainfall. However, I am showing that as far as the Euro or the GFS, these models are not being accurate. Euro within five days, GFS within five days, way less. So you bring in another model to see what's trending. And when you see the icon, you see within three days, not too much, showing the same thing as the Euro, a quarter inch for Houston. And within five days, it's agreeing more with the GFS. So we need to take all this rainfall as a grain of salt because this is steadily changing and steadily moving every few hours. Matter of fact, even when I check with the Euro to see what's up with the winds now, and the winds have calmed down greatly. I don't see no winds going for northern Mexico and barely anything for southern Texas as well. I don't see any major winds. These are all 20s that's hitting the edge, and these are wind gusts. So all the 30s, 40s, and 50s, that's all gone. Even the GFS agrees that these are going to be maybe 20 miles per hour wind gusts that's going to be passing through with this system. It's not going to be nothing major to worry about. As a matter of fact, you can see everything stays in the Gulf according to the GFS. So I think the GFS is a little more accurate at this time with what's going on. Maybe some 30 and some 40 miles per hour wind gusts hitting the coast of Texas. But the trend that we are seeing now is that this is taking... Instead of taking a long turn in Texas, it's taking a sharper turn. It might even take an even sharper turn and stay in the Gulf. We have seen an ensemble show that it rolls around the Gulf and heads towards Florida as a weak system. So that still is possible. Matter of fact, if you look according to the GFS, come Monday when the system gets close, it shows that we actually have two upper level lows, two pieces of energy going into the Gulf of Mexico. One piece going towards Louisiana and one over here by Mexico. As well as the big high pressure, you can see it swinging way out, and this is bringing all this moisture right towards western Louisiana and still southeastern Texas. That is a thing. However, the high pressure will be retracting back as the system gets closer, and that will bring this swing in towards the southeast and a little bit, little bit more moisture over Louisiana, Mississippi, and southern Alabama as well. Now, same thing according to Euro, it is showing two different thunderstorms grouping up, but it is showing that the surface low pressure is still taking effect down here on the southern one. And you can see it roll around. It gets to 1,012, right below southern Texas. It's 1,010, a little bit stronger. But then the cold front comes in and pushes this all towards Louisiana and over Mississippi. Even strengthens up a little bit as it gets over Louisiana. Might be front-induced from this cold front coming down. However, you can see the high pressure swinging it all the way into Texas. And then you can see the high pressure retracting back. And that allows it to come towards Louisiana as well. So when you look at SpaghettiOs according to the Euro in literally 60 hours is when we're going to start seeing any kind of formation into the Gulf of Mexico. And it shows something very weak going over Texas, very weak system. And literally in five days, it's going to be headed towards Louisiana. And it could strengthen a little bit more if it gets closer towards that cold front because that will be front induced. And that next wave coming around the 19th, around the 20th, when we have that next cold front, Euro is showing that we will have something weak get into our Gulf, and it could strengthen right before it gets towards Texas. Then the cold front would come in, and the cold front would smash that down. I'll show you that. Well, it's still 10 days away. Right after that sinking air passes by, guys, we still have a chance for something to come off the MDR and start ramping up. So you can see that here on the Euro latest run, you can see two groups of thunderstorms as this comes into the western Gulf of Mexico. It starts going towards Texas. It gets swung around Louisiana because of the high pressure. Then as it gets a little closer, it does get a little bit stronger over Louisiana towards Mississippi. And then it goes towards Florida. Very weak, uh, disorganized thunderstorms. GFS shows that it will be something weak as well in the Gulf of Mexico. And if it goes towards Texas as a system, as a surface low, it will be something very weak. Also shows that next wave that's coming through the Caribbean, as soon as it gets to the Western Caribbean, away from that sinking air, 
has a chance to intensify up and so far either go towards Texas or towards Louisiana as a possibility of something very strong. You can see with the GFS, the two groups move together to go towards Louisiana and Texas. But then it gets pushed back out into the Gulf and then goes towards Louisiana. And that's what we've seen before. Then around the 20th, that next wave that we have with potential getting into the Gulf of Mexico, it does show that cold front on the 20th does push that away and keep that away from us. You look for the Euro for the tropical depression, you can see most of it is northern Mexico, southern Texas within the next five days. And seven days when the energy is swinging to the eastern of Texas and towards Louisiana, we still have a chance to have a system off the southeast of the U.S. while we still have that next system in about eight days coming off the MDR and going towards the Caribbean. You even look for a chance for a tropical storm. It's very small, it's 10%, but it is showing that the energy will be towards northern Mexico, southern Texas with any kind of chance. But within the next three to five days, it does have a chance to be a very strong tropical depression. 10% for a tropical storm just isn't enough, but it does give you a location of where this storm looks like it's going. Even when you check for a hurricane, you do see it's only 10%. It's very small amounts, but that next wave coming off in 9 or 10 days has a chance already to be showing a hurricane. Now you can see within the next three days that all the ensembles show that this will be a system right off the coast of eastern Mexico, right in the Bay of Campeche, and it will be something weak. There is one out of 30 that shows that this could actually be something in the Gulf and just roll around like it's been shown. It'll roll around the Gulf and go towards the southeast. But once again, this is one out of 30, guys. This is literally a 3 to 5% chance of that even happening. But we also show that next wave coming through, if you look right here on E21, it will come through something weak, mostly because of the sinking air, but then it gets a chance to strengthen and come towards our Gulf. So far, it's showing Alabama to Panhandle, Florida, but once again, guys, out of 30 members, only one is showing that. Once again, that's a 3 to 5% chance of that happening. Highly unlikely. And I'm still showing, like here on E7, that I still come close to Florida on that next wave and still head north. But that one also is not set in stone. If you look right here on E26, it shows it stays weak and goes right over Florida and then maybe a little small system. You can see that one right here on E7. We've been showing that for a few days now, a little consecutive. But now it's showing that it takes a little sooner turn. It does not affect Louisiana or... But now we're showing it takes a little sooner turn. It don't affect Florida too bad. It don't affect South Carolina or North, North Carolina. It does take a turn. The high pressure moves and allows it to come back into the Atlantic. And according to the GFS, potential velocity anomaly does show that this system will be weak sometime around the 12th to the 13th that we are dealing with coming through our Gulf. And the next one is going to be sometime around the 22nd, right around when we get that next cold front. And it is going to last for a while. However, it is showing something very weak. Now, the Euro confirms that this is very weak that we're dealing with now. It shows it a little bit stronger than GFS, still very weak. But it's also confirming that right around the 22nd, and we do have something coming in our Gulf of Mexico, and it's a little bit stronger than the GFS. However, my belief in euro has kind of gotten a little lightened according to what it did just in the last 12 hours but from the 21st of september all the way to the 21st of october euro is showing that we're going to have a wave every few days coming off the mdr it's going to be strengthening up sometime around the caribbean gulf of mexico maybe either even the southeast of the u.s now you see why I wanted to do another update early this morning because literally 12 hours later, the Euro, the most respected, best reputation, the Euro has changed so dramatically, which is a good thing. So I hope nobody went out there and got any preparations overnight because the Euro showed one thing. It's literally been 12 hours later and the Euro is starting to look like GFS. <laughs> I always love the GFS guys. Now you see why. But I do hope you have a very blessed Friday out there. God bless every single one of you. I will do another tropical update before Sabbath starts this afternoon. Just make sure we get some kind of lock on this rainfall because this is all over the place. Thank you so much once again for visiting my channel today, guys. I do hope you all have a very great day out there. Just remember on your mind, it is Friday. Anything bad happens, it is Friday. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Now today I want to speak on a little bit of what we spoke about yesterday. I just want to carry on a little bit. Deuteronomy 28 verses 14 through 29.
And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, with which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shalt th shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of the body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he hath consume thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever, and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust, from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air and unto the beast of the earth and no man shall fray them away. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt and with the emeralds and with the scab, and with the itch, whereof thou canst not be healed. The Lord shall smite thee with madness, and blindness, and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as a blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. Amen. God bless you all. Have a very great day today. I'll see you this afternoon. Hopefully we can get a, a, a better capture of what this rainfall is actually going to do. Me personally, I believe the GFS. I've always been a GFS lover. Everybody knows that. Euro just changes too much for me. Thank you again for visiting my channel today, guys. I will see you this afternoon for a quick in and out update, just like last night. Just to get an updated information on what's going on in the Gulf in this rainfall. I do hope you have a great day. All glory, all power does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, the Almighty. If you're not with them, you're against them. And you wouldn't want to be against them. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. The king rules forever. <laughs> Amen. I'll see you this afternoon.